let's talk about objects. Pressing up on the D-pad will bring up the objects menu. From here you can select any object from any of the previous Trials games. Use the D-pad or the left analog stick to scroll through the categories and hit X to select one. Once open, you can scroll left or right to check out the subcategories and scroll up or down to see the objects within them. When viewing an object, you can use the right analog stick to rotate the object so you can view it from all sides. On some colorable objects, you can hit the triangle to change them to a random color. You will also notice some useful information displayed with each object. This tells you the complexity, the mass, the hit points, if the object is breakable, can have physics, or if you can change the object's color. Many objects have variations, which are different versions of that object, different sizes of the same object, different groupings of the object, or sometimes different objects altogether. You can scroll through the objects using the left and right shoulder buttons. Once you pick an object you want to use, hit the X button and it will spawn within the world. From there, you can move it around with the analog sticks. Use the left stick to move the object forward and backward, left and right, and use the right stick to move the object up and down, left and right. Now onto some new features in Rising. The first thing being object mode. Hitting the left arrow on the D-pad will toggle between the two object modes. The first one we will talk about is rotation mode. This is signified by the three colored circles that surround the object. Each circle represents an axis the object can be rotated on. An object can only be rotated on one axis at a time. The current axis will be displayed thicker than the other two. You can cycle which axis you are using by hitting the right shoulder button, and you can rotate the object with the left and right triggers. Now hitting the left arrow on the D-pad again will switch modes and give you the scaling mode, which is something old school trials builders will be really excited about. This mode is represented by green, blue, and red lines coming from the object. Hitting the left and right triggers will scale the object up and down. Triangle will copy an object when it's selected, and square will delete an object. Once again, you can refer to the buttons at the bottom of the screen if you forget what each button does. Pointing to an object and hitting X again will reselect the object, and clicking the right stick, R3, will snap the object to the driving line. Double clicking the R3 button will reset the object's rotation to its default position and align it to the driving line angle. Holding down the left shoulder button will give you the multi-select option, which you can select or deselect multiple objects at a time. This is represented by the plus sign over the cursor. The second new feature added to Rising is Fine Tune Mode. You can toggle between Off, Medium, and High by hitting the right arrow on the D-pad. In this mode, objects move slower and it gives you more control over the placement of your objects, so you can get them exactly where you want them. Finally, hitting Down Arrow on the D-pad will give you the Objects list. This is a helpful tool when you want to select an object within a group or multiple types of objects within a group. 